People spend about $30 billion a year on supplements and a lot of that money is wasted. I wanna help make sure you are not wasting your money on supplements. I'm Dr. James Monroe, and I've made plenty of recommendations to patients, and they say something along the lines of, but I've been taking that supplement for two years, and it doesn't do anything. There are a lot of potential reasons that need to be explored, but the most common thing that I found is they are buying crap supplements. When I ask where they got it, the common answers are Walmart, Target, Amazon. And this is the reason that that supplement is not working. Not because the nutrient or the herb doesn't work, but because that supplement doesn't work. There is so much that goes into each and every supplement. I would never recommend a supplement to any patient or any person or take one myself that I don't know absolutely everything about. First, it's important to know that you're actually taking the right thing. This is a completely different and super Jaimungo topic and I'll address it in future videos. But for the sake of this conversation, let's assume you know exactly what your body needs and you know the exact supplement that's right for you. If I had to simplify it, although I'm sure there are many exceptions, my rule would be do not buy a supplement from Target, from Walmart, from CVS, from Amazon, any of those big box stores. Don't get supplements from them. The FDA does not regulate supplements. It is a completely self-regulated industry. So what this means is we could have one company that holds themselves to a higher standard than say the pharmaceutical industry, and we can have another company that just throws some crap in a bottle, slaps magnesium on the label and sends it out to the market. This has been proven time and time again through multiple different studies over and over and over. These supplements are subjected to third party studies that are looking at if they have what they say they have in them. And guess what? The things that come from Walmart, Target, big box store, Amazon, they often don't meet their label claims. They say they have this much in the product and they don't actually have that much in the product. Amazon is a completely different beast because you can actually buy a super high quality supplement from a great company that has great quality control standards. But if you take that great supplement and you throw it in an Amazon warehouse that's 98 degrees for three months, it is no longer a good high quality supplement. And then another issue that we have on Amazon is just straight up fraud. Amazon has been working to address this uh, for a long time now, but it does still occur. Straight up fraud, you're not actually getting the thing that you think you're buying. When I'm looking for a supplement or a company that I can trust, there's a couple things that I ask myself to kind of vet these companies. So here's a couple things that I look at. The first thing that I need to know, it's kind of an obvious one, but are they meeting their label claims and are they stable products? So if it says 300 milligrams of magnesium, is there 300 milligrams of magnesium in that product? And does there remain 300 milligrams of magnesium until the expiration date? Then I look at fillers, binders, excipients, additives, whatever else is in the product. If there's food coloring in the product, that one right there is an immediate red flag. A company that adds food coloring to their formulas is a company that doesn't really value the same things that I value. It doesn't matter to me if it's a pretty blue, I don't care. I care that it works. So if they're spending time on color, and a bad binder will be fairly cheap and keep the cost down, but it will really effectively bind the supplement and then you won't be absorbing any of it. You just poop it right out. It's also really important to me that any supplement I recommend is tested for any type of contamination. And then of course we have to consider effectiveness. Does this actual formulation work? Not like does CoQ10 work? Does this CoQ10 work? I've seen so many products with like really outrageous claims. Like this is the best, most bioavailable product ever on the market. No one's ever seen anything quite like it. And then there is, <laughs> there's no evidence, there's no research, there's nothing that proves those claims. So if you're gonna make a claim, you better be able to back it up with research or evidence of some type. On top of that, we have all these different forms and standardizations of different nutrients and herbs like methylfolate versus folic acid, magnesium oxide versus magnesium glycinate. These are not the same thing. For herbs, is it a whole extract? Is it the root? Is it the leaf? Uh, what are we talking here? And after all of that, if everything checks out, if we know that it's rigorously tested, we know exactly what's in it, it doesn't have any contaminants, then we have to go back to the warehouse thing. How is it stored? How is it shipped? The bottom line is to get your supplements from a trusted source. If you don't wanna go through all the legwork involved in vetting a company and finding a good quality supplement, find a trusted doctor who knows their stuff and follow their recommendations. If you have a product or a supplement that you want me to look into, leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. 
not all supplements are the same. There's a lot of crap out there. There are also great companies making great products, but those great products, if they end up in a hot warehouse, they turn into garbage. A cheap supplement is usually cheap for one reason or another. Just don't waste your money. All right, that's all I got for today. I hope you're great, but I hope tomorrow is even better.